What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode, another vlog. And uh, today is a beautiful day outside. I haven't been out here in a little bit. It's been like a rainy couple days. Uh, and I I'm just not, I wasn't just, I wasn't with it. So I'm trying to get some stuff done today. And uh, try, try, just to try to make some uh, some progress on the GTR here. So as you can tell on the, uh, on the table here, do have a couple things that uh, I want to try to get put on a couple of these parts here the intake manifold like I said before is uh, sandblasted and such uh, I don't know what this bracket is I think it's for the alternator but uh, I do have that it is the uh, the tensioner for the alternator and then I have this boost tube here that I powder coated because uh, it just looked all crusty but uh, I think what I'm gonna try to do is uh, I'm gonna show you guys, I have this kit here, and uh, I really, really, really like it. Oh, I didn't, I never plugged up the Evo. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you guys, see this bad boy here? All right, so this goes like such here, like that. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of uh, the whole spider web thing because I'm not feeling it. And uh, I was looking for a way to get rid of this without actually like compromising everything that I have on this side of the engine. But as you can tell, it's a complete mess over here, complete mess. So uh, what I do have is I have, where is it? Uh, oh, right there. So uh, I do have this kit here. It's from uh, RAV, RA perform RAV Performance. I think that's what that, yeah, RAV Performance. So, uh, there's their, let me see. Yeah, R-A-V, R-A-V, performance. So, I spoke to these guys a little bit ago uh, about uh, getting a kit because they had just developed a kit to get rid of all the coolant lines that are right here. So, the spider web that's underneath and uh what goes to the back and to the front gets well to the front gets deleted so all of this up front gets deleted and then there's two lines that come from the back here so uh yeah so what i'm gonna do is uh since going on their website and such uh I, I i don't know if i was the first one to buy one of these things but as soon as they came out with it i actually like took advantage of it so there's only one other alternative to doing it like this like how i'm going to show you to delete this whole thing so you can go and uh put two an lines uh where the uh, coolant lines go have them come out and then go straight to the uh what do you want to call that the the radiator but you need you need an aluminum radiator and you need to weld on two like AN fittings. So that was the plan to do that until I saw this kit. So like I said before, I went on their website and I actually found it. Well, they actually posted it on Facebook and uh, within like, I don't know, probably, I'd probably say a couple hours. Uh, I found it and I purchased it because I wanted to try to test it and uh see how the fitment really is and uh see see if this thing was actually worth it so it is a little bit pricey but the alternative is getting a uh a new aluminum radiator getting the two uh weldings uh getting two pieces welded on there and doing a in line so uh it's it i don't know it, it's probably about the same amount of money to be honest with you but uh yeah, on their website, there is no instructions. There was no instructions that came with the kit. Uh, as far as I know, I'm probably one of the, the first couple people, like I said before, to actually grab one of these things up. But I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install this thing on your GTR because uh, I was very, very confused. But I'm gonna go through step-by-step step and show you exactly how to do it. So let's go. All right, people, so I have everything on the floor here. So you get a bunch of stuff here, and I'm going to go through exactly what everything is. So you get two of these lines. One, uh, one side's got a 90 degree. One side's got a straight fitting. And then this super long one is two straight fittings. Now you have two fittings that are 90s, two fittings that are 45, and two fittings that are uh, like uh, banjo fittings for the stock you know uh coolant location and then you have two two pieces for the uh the turbo itself and then you have a block off for the coolant passage for the block 
And then you also have these, these two fittings here are for the ends, and I'll show you exactly what they do in a second. So, what we are replacing is this spider's nest underneath the turbos, which I'm very upset because like I could have probably did this first and then uh, I, I wouldn't have had to you know use all of these like crush washers but i'm gonna have to take everything uh all of these bad boys off so uh yeah uh let's get to that actually let me let me show you guys something so behind here behind these turbos is the coolant passage line so i don't know you, you guys should be able to see that so it is uh i'll just put I'll just put this right here. This, <laughs> all right, so this is what we're looking at right here. This is the uh, the coolant passage line for the uh, the back of the block, and it feeds both both the turbos. So this piece here, and all of these spider lines, this one here and this one here, are all gonna come out. Unfortunately, uh, if you still have this in the car, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Uh, obviously like if you're building the uh, if you're doing like something like I'm doing and the, the motor is out it's gonna be completely uh, a lot easier so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these uh, the oil uh, you know return lines off well at least at least this one so just so I can get underneath and I could actually snake these bad boys out so let's get to work <laughs> people so it took me a little bit to snake these bad boys uh the lines out because it is super tight but uh yeah you can get it out that's for sure so now we are in the we're in the uh in game here we are going to start putting this bad boy back together so first thing we're going to start with is these two bad boys along with the stopper here well the uh the cutoff for the the block so i think that's probably a six five or six but it goes back to the back where this this hooks up right here so you should have plenty of room back there because uh you don't have this big bulky thing you know what i mean in your way so uh yeah let's get on and let's get back to work let's go Okay, so it was a pain in the, uh, oh, you already know, to get this uh, this little plug back here. It was really, really difficult to get that in and uh, snug down, but you can take either the rear turbo off or even just the uh, rear O2 housing, uh, and it'll make it a hell of a lot easier. But I do have the, uh, the fittings here, this Bando fittings on and i do have the uh the a well these an fittings on for the the water lines for the turbo so now here comes the uh very confusing part well which was confusing to me so one of these lines one of these lines does a 90 
a 90 here, if I'm not mistaken. It's a 90 here. All right. And then it snakes back to the back of the turbo and then comes up. So you got to put another 90 degree elbow right here on the rear turbo just so that like if i'm not mistaken i i gotta i gotta double check just to make sure but i'm pretty sure that's how this goes uh and then you have to sneak the line towards the back of the block here uh and you don't it's not connected to anything but you sneak it down to the back and it comes up right here so uh yeah let me get this uh this done uh, and i'll show you exactly like how progress is kind of going but that's that's the way it's looking like here so you connect the two turbos together one front this one is uh the longer straight hose it goes down and underneath and to the back and this one here it comes straight out well like with some fittings comes straight out down and around so uh yeah let me uh let me knock this out and let's see where we're at let's go Okay, ladies and gentlemen, folks, so uh, I think I have it routed correctly. If you can tell, uh, I still need to kind of like, you know, tighten up all these lines and such. The, the one line I got pretty secure from turbo to turbo, which is fine. But uh, I definitely need to uh, redo all of these, you know, like make sure all these lines are, uh, you know, tightened down and such. So, uh, yeah. Give me a little bit here. I'm going to tighten down all these lines and I'll come back to you with the, the final, uh, you know, assembly or whatever, the final form. So uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folk, let me get my pointer. All right, so we have this bad boy all finished up it took me a little bit because i wanted to see uh the easiest and non-heated way to get this bad boy done uh so as you can tell this thing is wrapped in uh dei uh you know like heat wrap heat shrink wrap or whatever so uh it is gonna be safe from all the heat from the exhaust side but uh as you can tell I do have this side all done and it's wrapped up underneath and it's really it's really really tight to the uh to the firewall there. I don't know if you can tell I kind of tell, but here's a, a better look here. So this this line here, this line here, the long line, is uh it wraps right up right up against the uh the, the side of the firewall here, as you can see. Now the other side is a little bit tricky because it comes off of this side of the turbo. Uh, the the outlet side of the turbo is what I'm guessing and uh, I wrapped it around and above this bracket here and And then I wrapped I came out So it comes in and then out like this so this this side of the turbo here it goes down and Underneath the firewall like there's a, a, a hard line on the firewall So you ride that line on the firewall and then you come all the way up to here so that will take care of this kit uh like i said before there isn't any like there's pictures but there's no real instructions on how to do it but uh hopefully hopefully this helped you guys uh on this side of the turbo actually like let me let me show you there's a bracket like this and it goes right about here it goes right about here now this bracket here holds the uh the one side of the the coolant line so it holds this right here so obviously you don't need this so you can just throw that in the garbage and uh you can allow your uh your one water line to actually flow really really nice so uh but yeah so anyway uh like i said before hopefully you enjoyed the video i will be uh 
I'll be doing a couple things so that like the next video that you guys see will probably have some more stuff on the engine. Uh, I powder coat, well, didn't powder coat. I sandblasted a bunch of stuff, so I want to get that stuff on. And uh, while I don't have any grease on my hands, so that it does not stain. So uh, yeah, you like this video? Like, comment, subscribe. There will be more on the R33 GTR. Hopefully soon. I'm still waiting for all my intake manifold gaskets. Once I get those. I should be good to go. Like I can meet the uh, the intake stuff. I can put everything on the subframe, and I could wheel the uh, the transmission that I have over there, and I could put the clutch on. I can do all that jazz. So yeah, still a big process, but I'm moving along, moving along really nicely. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.